Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly. This is the Global Conversation. Um, I want to say first of all that I've been looking at the Learning Circle projects. We've had six of them submitted as of Sunday evening, the 4th of December. Uh, that's Sunday evening dairy time. And I know from looking at uh, many of the other discussions that uh, some of you are working very vigorously at trying to get them in uh, by tomorrow. Um, keep up those efforts and uh, I hope you get them in. I'll post those as well. I've posted these first six uh, that we've received and I urge you all to take a look at them and then go back to the Learning Circle discussions and make some comments. Uh, you know, so These are extraordinary resources for all of you. So I hope that you'll uh, take a look at them and think about um, you know, sharing them with others, etc. Okay, I mean, they are great, and I, I kudos to all of you who have been working very hard on these. I know a couple of people, have, a couple of circles have had difficulties of various sorts. This is uh, the ninth semester that we've offered this class, and I have to tell you that this, this happens. But uh, in general, uh, we're getting near the end here now for this semester, but in general, I've got to say to you that uh, this has been a great semester. You're, you've been... Uh, having great course discussions and uh, the Learning Circle projects uh, so far are really great. So, uh, fair dues to everybody for them. Um, uh, you'll find them on the top left hand side of the home page uh, for the course. Um, do take a look at them. There are six of them posted there now as of um, this evening. And as I get more of them, I will post those as well. Now, um, a couple of other things to talk with you about. Uh, one is the uh, extraordinary um, uh, activities that are going on in Durban, uh, and this is most important. Uh, New Scientist magazine out of the UK, uh, as of yesterday, it's uh, December 3rd uh, edition, uh, says that there's really very, very little chance that there's going to be any agreement uh, coming out of the Durban conference. In point of fact, what you're seeing, and uh, let me just uh, read you a little bit of it. There are a number of reports uh, out of the uh, Durban conference that I'd like to bring to your attention. Um, I, I suppose the broadest issue is that what's been happening is that the big, rich countries, United States, Canada, Japan, and even uh, some of the up-and-coming economies, uh, Brazil and India, are saying they want to delay a new protocol. Uh, they're working towards a replacement for the Kyoto Protocol, but the rich countries don't want to do that. And what seems to be happening, uh, uh, you know, I mean, just some of the data are just um, extraordinary. And, uh, the Global Carbon Project, an international research collaboration, uh, confirms other analysis and showing that despite the financial crisis, um, it's been only a small blip in the rising trend in uh, CO2 emissions. Uh, during 2010, emissions grew by 5.9%, almost 6%, more than compensating for the fall that uh, occurred of 1.4% in 2009 when the economy wasn't doing so well. Um, uh, and governments are taking no action. They want to delay it until 2020 or so, etc. What you're going to see is more and more people starting to say, well, we have to take compensatory measures, etc., etc. They're not going to limit CO2 emissions, right? Um, Canada you know, everybody thinks, oh, Canada is good, you know, compared to that big country to the south of Canada. But, in point of fact, Canada has one of the most environmentally devastating and I, uh, projects going. Okay, That project is the Tar Sands Project. Some of our students here in Derry watched a film with me um, a week ago, a little less than a week ago, called Dirty Oil. It's produced by Dog Wolf Productions. But dirty oil is, uh, the tar sands really is dirty oil. I mean, um, the emissions caused by the tar sand project by itself, hmm, by itself is just absolutely extraordinary. I mean, you, you would not believe how bad it is. If you look at 
And this is in Alberta, so somewhere above uh, North Dakota and Wyoming in the United States, sort of towards the west, right? The sands have a great deal of oil if you process it in them, right? So what's happening? It's an area that they're um, you know, essentially, right, I suppose they're raping the landscape of an area the size of the state of Florida in the United States. Um, the oil sands project emits more greenhouse gases than 145 of the 207 countries which are ranked for gas, greenhouse gas emissions, right? Uh, and that's based on 2007 emissions. And they expect uh, a near doubling in oil sand emissions by 2020, right? And there are all sorts of knock-on effects. Um, one study uh, of moose meat, you know, moose, the big animal, in that region suggested that uh, the meat could contain 453 times the acceptable levels of arsenic. Uh, the government in Alberta, however, did its own study and it suggested that the levels of arsenic were only probably only, and only was the operative term, 17 to 33 times normal. What a good idea, huh? All sorts of wonderful things happen to your body when you get arsenic in it, sometimes resulting in death. And of course, it's, you know, it's uh, polluting water supplies, all sorts of cancers being observed, etc. Where does that oil go? It goes to fill the gas tanks of people in the United States primarily. Uh, what many people don't know, and if you see the film Dirty Oil, they'll, they'll emphasize this, what many people don't know is that the, the Canada is the largest source of foreign oil for the United States. It's not Saudi Arabia, right? It is, it is Canada. So take a look at this stuff. Uh, I'm going to send you a report uh, that uh, details all of this. Uh, on uh, it's, it, the, the report is called The Most Destructive Project on Earth, Canada's Toxic Tar Sands. I'll send you that report. Um, keep an eye on the climate talks. We... we um, uh, there's been protests, uh, but I don't see much happening. The former Deputy Prime Minister in the United Kingdom, uh, John Prescott, who uh, was very involved in getting the um, uh, Kyoto Protocol agreed to, uh, says that um, the approach of nations such as the United States and Canada is appalling. And it is Canada, the US, Saudi Arabia, Japan, India. Um, one of the things he says, and this is for all of us to think about in moral and ethical terms, he says that if you don't finish in time for the ending of the Kyoto 2 protocol, which is next year, 2012, then it will actually wither on the vine, and that's what Canada and America wants, and one or two other rich countries. It's a conspiracy against the poor, Prescott says. It's appalling. I'm ashamed of such countries not recognizing their responsibilities, right? And, it, you know, it is going to affect poor people much more. If you read any of the data, any of the reports, what you're going to find is countries like Canada and the United States probably aren't going to suffer so much from, from, uh, from climate change. Um, although there'll be some consequences, absolutely no question. But... Poor countries are going to suffer enormously. So you, once again, you have this, uh, the, the fact that we organize our planet in nation states that's, uh, that's making this a really, really problematic situation. At any rate, um, keep sending in the um, uh, uh, Learning Circle projects. I think they're terribly interesting. I hope you'll all take a look at them. Go then to the, the various fora and uh, uh, write some comments if you're particularly interested. Uh, send a note to the people who um, have done the project. Let them know you think it's good, bad, critical, etc. Be 
say what you feel like saying about it, but it is uh, great stuff, generally speaking, and I give uh, all of you great applause for it. Uh, I'm going to post another video for you in a couple of days, um, which has to do with one of the more positive uh, signs of uh, our collective sensibilities about empathy. Um, um, I'll do that probably in, by, by Tuesday or so. Okay, hope you all have a good week. All the best. Bye-bye.